Dr. Day, our amazing DIYers create beautiful projects around here. However, some of the tools they use can be, well, sometimes a little intimidating. To some people. To, and a little overwhelming to some people. I would like to happen to be one of those people. <laughs> I'm talking about saws. So Ken is here, our master crafter Ken, to make sure that we're all comfortable using all kinds of saws. Isn't that right, Ken? Yeah, because a lot of, we try to help you out at home, telling you you can get certain cuts done at the hardware store. Yeah. But beyond the really basic stuff, you're really going to have to start using saws on your own to get to that next level. Okay. And it's not intimidating at all. I'm going to take you through it. It's the sound. They make really loud sounds. Mm -hmm. it's, it's easy. It's, wood chip just think of it as a mixer. It's just like uh, a mixer, a KitchenAid <laughs> mixer. A little more dangerous than a mixer, uh, though. Okay, there are two saws in particular that you say we should all be comfortable using. What are those? Exactly. A jigsaw, which is for curved lines, okay. and a circular saw, okay. which is going to give you straight, long lines. Okay. Both are easy. If I had to um, boil it down even further, a jigsaw, because you can do everything with a jigsaw and they are very easy and very safe to use. Okay, and you're gonna show us how to make, um, how to use the jigsaws. Exactly. Fact, we use this jigsaw quite a bit around here. You've done a lot of projects. Right, when we did the that. Winter Village, there we are cutting cutting that. And that was one of those where I realized I wanted to do this segment. There's the finished product. One of our viewers, she contacted me and said, can I make this out of foam core instead? I'm afraid of saws. I don't know how sure. to use the saw. And I said, yes, you can, but it's gonna be just the ama same amount of work to make it out of foam core and then it's, it's gonna be temporary. I so t spend the 20 bucks on the saw and actually like make it happen. And learn how to use it. Exactly. And then feel comfortable because then you can make so many more projects. Exactly. So All let right, me take you through. This is, this is our saw. Now notice you can get them with a cord or cordless. This has a battery pack. Okay, which so, do you prefer? I like it with the battery pack because then I don't have to worry about running an extension cord. And Tripping over it. Exactly. But when you buy it, just make sure that it comes with a battery pack included. Some of them don't. Okay. Um, you've got, um, this is the trigger right here. It works just like a gun. You pull that and that actually makes it go. Um, this is our blade. Our blade is okay. right here. The blade very easily, you open this, the blade comes in and out. Make very, sure very the battery's simple. off if you're going to change the Yes, battery. whenever you're dealing with, as far as safety, when you're ever messing with it, take out the battery so there's no okay. chance, or if it's corded, unplug it, so you have no chance of accidentally turning it off. And the blades come in different sizes? They, they'll come a basic one with you, that you don't really need to overthink it, but if you start to get more advanced, here you have a tiny saw, which is really good for tight scrolls. You have a regular saw, and then you have what's called a speed blade, okay. which is what will go really fast, but will leave you with more jagged ends. The bigger the teeth, the more jagged jagged your cut's going to be, but the faster it's going to okay. go. Okay, and right? how do you know when the blade is ready to be replaced? Either you bend it, which will happen, Oof. I know, or okay. you'll start to see these burn marks here, and that means that the blade's creating a lot of friction and it goes through the wood, which means that it's not sharp. Does that just mean overuse? That's normal. That's normal, right. It's like, oh, time it. for a new blade. Okay. It's not cutting through. It's burning the wood, not cutting it. Okay, and the blades are they're fairly reasonable. Like, yeah, five bucks will get you like okay. a bunch of them. So now, what we're gonna do. This cost? Well, it depends. You can get them as cheap as 18, as much as 200. I say if you spend 50 to 60 bucks on a saw, that's gonna be a good middle range saw that will last you for years and years and okay. years. So we have our battery pack here. You're just gonna slide that right onto the back. Now it's good to go. I'm not gonna get anywhere near the trigger and I'm gonna keep the blade away from me. Okay. Now, now Ken is gonna show me how to use this. I'm gonna tell you something. My father, God rest his soul, would be so proud of me right now. He made furniture for a living. He made a beautiful <laughs> cabinet. He was a carpenter and I was petrified but of it. It did not pass through. It did not pass scared. through. Okay. So now what you need to know, like this is our sort of base. You wanna keep this flat against the wood. Just let it rest. You're not pushing, you're not waiting. Let that rest flatly. Okay. Um, you always wanna start your blade going before it hits the wood. So back off a little bit and then just let it, like a sewing machine, just let it carry it's yourself okay, through. Okay, all right, That's, that sounds better. There you go. Always cut away things. from yourself here. Let's keep get you on, flat. you can try to follow that line. Let's we'll see if you can follow Where's that. Where's my blade? And keep yep. it flat? Keep it flat. Powerful, no See? joke. And how easy was that? It was did not, not a lot of stress, not a lot of effort. As long as your hands are away from it. You know right, what I mean? exactly. And always away. When you see and always... somebody, this is what always scares me. If you're not using this and you see somebody holding it like that, it really Well, that's why me. the clamps are, to me, very important. You can okay. work alone and you can make sure that there are no hands in the way. So circular saw. Okay. Same thing. We've got our battery pack. We've got our blade. These have big round blades. These blades last a long time, so you really don't need to change them very often. Okay. You've got your metal plate, which rests on the ground. It has this 
safety guide on nice. it that covers the blade. This will move back automatically when you're cutting. So you don't need to get your fingers anywhere near the blade. What would you use to make, what would you make using this? Well, we use this like when we made the recycled headboard. If you remember oh, that, we had those boards, but then we needed to clean up that entire edge. One quick sip um, with this, you got a nice clean edge okay. all the way down. So long, straight lines. This has a safety, this button right here. So you're gonna push that down with your thumb while you pull with so your finger. So it's not even gonna work. Unless it's not even gonna work okay. unless you've got both of those buttons down. You ready, girl? Okay. This so again, you wanna set it, set it flat on here. The blade is away from the wood. Safety, trigger, and then you put one hand here and then just go forward. Okay. All right. All right, let me pull the... There you okay, go. Got it. Other hand here. Okay, that's in the middle. There's that line, flat. right? Exactly. Okay, You're back okay. away. Ah! Oh my How God, easy was that? That one was easier than the. Than well, because it's just a nice, straightforward motion. Powerful woman with a powerful saw. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of fun, Ken. All right, can we move up to the bigger ones now? Maybe next time. Let's, that let's that like... big table saw that my okay. dad had? She Woo! wants to know how to work that... all her dad's tools now. <laughs> I'll bring them in. <laughs> Thank you so much, Ken, for the full details on how to use these saws. You can visit HallmarkChannel.com. You should definitely go there because it's fun. <laughs>